What's wrong? What's wrong? Layla, come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Oh, I believe in you. Come on. Come here. Come on. Get chicken nugget. Come on. Oh, dear. Here, Mama comes over, okay? Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. It's okay. Come on. There you go. Come on. Come on. It's so weird. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the start of another weekly vlog. Hi, everybody. It's Thursday morning. I know I like to kick the vlogs off on Wednesday and I didn't do that. Um, today is the last day of my store. We closed today. Um, I am really emotional about this. Um, yesterday was a really emotional day and today is going to be even more emotional. I know it. Um, so yesterday was our second to last day. So like everybody kind of knew or people were coming in, we were telling them and it was very, like a lot of people came in to say goodbye and it was just, it was hard. Um, and today's going to be even harder. It's going to be, it's going to be sad to close the store down for the last time. Now my manager and I have to be there tomorrow and Saturday for inventory stuff. So I'll be back in the store, but not with patients. Um, yeah, my allergies are really bad again because it's in morning and that's my life. So, um, yeah, it was really, I guess this is the, the true meaning of bittersweet because it, you know, was so sad, but then it just made you feel so good to have people be like, we're going to miss you girls. I can't believe you're leaving us. What are we going to do without you? You know, like that kind of stuff. Um, and something that was nice too, was that like, so now that we know that we're going to a different store, we had so many people be like, well, we're going to come with you. And it's like all people that we love. <laughs> so it felt really good. It's like, yeah, it was like, no, uh, if anybody works in retail, it wasn't any of those customers that you're like, oh no, don't come back. <laughs> it wasn't that. It was nice. It just felt really nice to have people say how important we were to them, how much they appreciated all our help over the years. It was just, I don't know, it was nice, but it was a lot. I came home last night and then we had a write-in for NaNo. Um, I am participating in National Novel Writing Month. This is my 20th season of that. And so we, it's all virtual this year. So we had a virtual write-in. Um, so we did a D&D, &D, um, like an online D&D &D, and Sion, my friend who is also my co-ML, he wrote a, oh my God, is it a campaign? Is that what it's called for D&D? Like your quest. And so, instead of rolling a die you do word sprints to like so you'd be like you are stopped by this dragon and what do you want to do okay you want to like earlier in the campaign we had found a bunch of bottles of wine and so we were like we want to try to give the dragon wine so that they'll let us pass and he's like okay instead of like you would have to like roll a die and like an actual D&D game and so instead it was like you have to do a three minute word spread so I actually got a little bit of writing done and what was exciting last night is that I yesterday marked the farthest ahead I've ever been on the 10th of the month in 20 years so that was like really exciting I'm always like a last minute finisher like it's become like a running joke that everybody like follows my word count in the last like three days of the month because they're like is she gonna make it oh my god um so I was like, oh, I'm still not like where you're supposed to be with your daily word count, but like pretty good. So, um, but I did that and then we made just like an oven pizza for dinner and I was going to watch a Hallmark movie and then I was like, oh, I was going to work on some stuff. Like I'm working on some videos editing and I was just like, I just didn't too spent, like I didn't do a fitness. I didn't, I just went to bed like 930. Like I was just so spent. So. I am supposed to do speed work today after work at the track. Um, I have to stay and do an inventory tonight. Closing inventory, you have to do like anytime you become the manager or leave as a manager, you have to do an incoming or outgoing inventory. And so I have to do that tonight. So I don't know what time I'll be home. 
but I have to go up to the track and do my speed work tonight. So it's only going to be like maybe four, probably between four and five miles, I would think. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, it's three miles and then 15 minutes of speed work and then a cool down. So I think that'll land me between four and five miles, which is nice. So that's on my agenda tonight. I'm going to try to make sure that I have the energy for it. And then, I don't know. And it's done. So anyway, I am uh, going to get started on some stuff this morning. I've been working on editing um, our vacation vlog from Big Sur, which is exciting because that was a fun trip. So I'm going to do that this morning, work my bullet turn a little bit, and then go in for my final day. So sad. Hi, everybody. It's 6.30 on Thursday. I just closed my store for the last time. And I feel really emotional about this. It was a really emotional day. I knew it would be. Um, headed home now. I had to call my mom and um, just let her know how it went. I gotta go home and do a run, and I think a run is a good thing for me tonight. And then, yeah. It's the last time. Buy a little store. Well, I'll be back tomorrow and Saturday for inventory, but. Okay, this is creepy. I'm working on my Big Sur um, video from when we were there in April for my channel. And what is my screensaver? Weirded out. Very weirded out. It's beautiful though. I have some beautiful footage of this coming out. So I'm trying to finish up my editing. I had to go to bed last night. I just, I didn't feel well after I ate. I don't know what the heck was happening. I just felt like I was getting like allergy reaction to dinner? Is something we eat all the time? I don't know. Anyway, I'm trying to finish up this video right now before I have to go into work. And it is again, still, the video about Big Sur. And the first song that came up as a suggestion is called Big Sur. Are the forest gods trying to communicate with me? Is there something I'm missing here? Because I feel like the universe is sending me some kind of sign that I can't interpret. Am I supposed to sign up for the Big Sur Marathon next year? That might be it. That's probably, if I had to guess, that's probably it. because I walked here. It's a beautiful day in the cemetery. It's always a beautiful day here. Thank you. You've been a perfect place to sit. Look at that nice view of this like nice, whoa, Celtic cross right here. We have these urn thingies. It's nice. Some of the mausoleums over there. The pyramid is right behind me over. You see, you see the pyramid. There it is. I don't want to give the pyramid the finger. There it is, right there. So, oh, it's nice and scenic. And I'll show you. Hold on one second. Look at the front of this. Look at that color. Hello, friend. And so here's what you see. 
looking out from Hicks's mausoleum here. So thank you, Hicks, my human, for being an excellent host. So I'm here in the cemetery. Um, it is Thursday, no, Friday afternoon. Um, today I had to go and do the file transfer for my store closing. Um, so I did that and that only took like not time at all. And then we had to drop some mailings off at the post office for patients and we had to get the U-Haul for the transfer of the inventory. So I had to drive uh, my manager over there so he could get that. And then I stopped at Minerva to get some goodies because I'm never there when Minerva's actually open because it's usually closed by the time I leave work. So I did that and then I stopped at my new store to drop off some inventory and my um, the person who was there was all by herself and she was like she's not a brand new pharmacist but she's brand new to our company and so she was like can I ask you some questions while you're here and I was like yeah I said I'll stay for a little bit so I stayed for about two hours to help her get cleaned up a little bit and get some stuff done and then I went to the grocery store and I came home and I was like ah oh, I am home so much earlier than I thought I would be and I have all this time and I didn't do anything I just was like just so emotionally spent yesterday was so emotional it I had to be the one to call to have the like tech guy like shut all the computers down and like delete all the stuff and it was like it felt like pulling the plug on a loved one like that was the emotion that I felt like it just felt like oh my god I just let somebody die at, like my store that I have like worked so hard and I was so proud of and like all my people so funny story though so a lot of our patients were like excited to find out that we we're gonna be pretty close by, that we they can still come to us. So I was like, you know, we'll be there. Well, we won't be there for another two weeks because the other person's not leaving yet, but we'll be there. Um, and they were like, well, and so when I went in there today and I was like just doing other stuff and the phone rings and I saw the caller ID and it was like one of my beloved patients and I was like, how did you know I was gonna be here today? And she's like, I didn't. Oh my goodness, I knew you wouldn't let me down. I was like, this is totally random. I told you I wasn't gonna be here until the 28th. So that was nice. And then um, later while I was there, another one of my patients called. So I was like, hi, <laughs> yeah, you still get us. So that was nice. That made me feel really good, but it was just really hilarious. I was like, I'm not even supposed to be here. I was literally supposed to just drop stuff off and then leave and I just happened to stay. So um, other news. Last night, as I was driving home from work, I had to stop and drop some stuff off to another person because like all our inventory has to go elsewhere. So like friends of mine are like, we're out of this, we're out of this. Like my friend was out of flu shots. She's like, do you have any flu shots? Can I have all the rest of your flu shots? Um, so I was dropping some stuff off at her store and my mom called, I was talking to my mom and she got a buzz from my aunt. So she's like, oh, I'll call you right back. My grandma fell. So my grandma is 96. I don't know if I've had her video of her on this channel before or not. I'm trying to think about holidays and stuff. Um, anyway, she's 96. She's like really, she's been through quite a bit health-wise in the last 10 years and she's been amazing with it all. She fell last night and she broke her, she fractured her femur in a high part of it. So it's not in like the hip or the hip joint, it's in the top part of the femur, which is like not terribly better, but it's better. Um, so she has to have surgery today and they just had to like squeeze her into their surgery schedule and it's just been a whole thing. So that's been making me really anxious too. My mom is at the hospital with her now. My aunt was there last night. The hospital that she's at out by where they live is only allowing one person. Whereas like the hospital that my dad was in um, was we could have two people since the summer. And then once he was end of life then we were allowed to have like my husband was able to come and we were able to bring Layla. And, um, but yeah, we were allowed two people. So if she was at that hospital, my mom and my aunt could both be there, but as it stands, they have to be switching off, which is another like added stress. So that's on my mind too. I just, and my anxiety was like starting to get really super duper overwhelming. And so I like knew I wanted to come to the cemetery cause it's beautiful out and, and there's, there's fall colors. It's starting to get like the sun's starting to go down now. So it's getting a little bit colder. It's like 57 or 58 and in the sun it's warm. Um, I'm a little chilly right now sitting here because I'm sitting like on this concrete. But um, 
I knew I wanted to come out here, but I like couldn't put together the steps in my mind that I needed to do to get here. And I, I was like, it took me like an hour to like figure out like what I had to do was pack up my bag with my notebook and my pens and my washi tape and my laptop because I think we're gonna go at, we're going to dinner tonight. Husband's gonna pick me up from here um, when it gets dark and then we're gonna go to, we're going to dinner for my friend's birthday. Um, so I needed to bring my laptop, which is in this bag and a blanket to sit on and a water bottle. And I had to put my watch on and walk up the hill and then I got a coffee and then walked over here. That was the steps that I had to do. And it was like, fucking Rubik's cube to put those into order to find out what they were and then put them into order and then start to execute them it was it's been a really bad day for that um, I think I just need to get myself more organized and as I was thinking about this and I was like number one I need to go for a float let's put that on the list I need to go for a float maybe I'll go for a float Monday after work um, maybe. well I'm gonna go to the cage Monday night to write okay Wednesday after work, I'm gonna go for a float. Um, so I need to do that. <laughs> but number two, I need to just like focus the next like three weeks on like back to basics, like getting my house in order, getting caught up on my bullet journal, my planner, and like the things that like are my routines. I'm behind on my routines. And I need to like focus on that so that I can get my brain in the right place. I'm so sorry sir madam i'm so sorry hicks family that you're having to hear all of my petty drama the petty drama of the living i'm so sorry um i'm like looking the word whoa it's not show at that angle hold on i'm talking to the people who are in here as if they are listening to me so anyway i'm gonna keep writing for a little bit um i was listening to some sad autumn music and i'm just trying to relax but as soon as I came here and just like sat down, I just feel so much better. So I was also stressed because the place that we're going to dinner tonight, we're going to the Capitol Grill, which is really good. I haven't been there in a number of years, but it's like kind of fancy. I think it's fancy. I don't know. And so I was like worried, like I don't really have anything fancy, and like I didn't have anything that was like that I could wear to the cemetery that could also be fancy. So I'm dressed like I don't know. And like art teacher fancy, corporate goth, I guess. I don't know. This is as fancy as I could get. So I was worried about that, which like, I don't know why. I mean, it's Pittsburgh. Like nobody here is really fancy. <laughs> it's like part of our charm. Like, you know, you can go to, we have this restaurant called the Grand Concourse. And it's like really like it's date night. People get engaged there. People have holiday parties there. But they do this like, amazing um, all you can eat brunch on Sundays. And so it's like kind of fancy. It's like more upscale. It's like an older upscale Pittsburgh Institution restaurant. And if you go during brunch on Sundays during Steeler season, it's like just people in Steeler jerseys everywhere. And then our, one of our favorite places, the Carlton, which closed last year, unfortunately, during the pandemic. But you saw us going, um, that's where we were getting a lot of, um, they're like taking heat meals last year when all the restaurants were closed for dining. Um, the Carlton, again, fancy. They have wine nights. They had this like, amazing wine selection. like very business dinner very you know fancy night out and everything and they had like on their website like it's pittsburgh feel at home here wear your jersey come here before the penguins game like i don't know so i don't know why i was worried about that but i was so i've been talking for 10 minutes <sighs> anyway i feel better talking helped a little bit too i'm gonna work on my bullet journal a little bit. I have my laptop ready for after dinner. We're going to go see Tina. Tina's working tonight. We're going to go see Tina. I'm going to write a little bit more. I have, I can't be out too late though, because I have to be at the store at 6:30 tomorrow for inventory, which means like I have to get up at my normal time. I just won't have time to do my morning routine. And then I have a 15 mile run. I have six and 15 are my two runs this weekend. I don't know how long inventory is going to take tomorrow. So I don't know, am I doing the 15 miles tomorrow? Am I doing the six miles tomorrow? I think maybe I'm just gonna plan to do the 15 miles on Sunday, and do the six miles tomorrow. And then it doesn't matter how long the inventory takes. I don't have to worry about it, right? Or maybe I wanna get it done with. So I'm gonna get it done even if it takes a little bit longer and it's my whole day. 
See what I mean? Decisions. Decisions are really tripping me up. So decisions made right now. I'm going to focus on my writing and listening to my music and just enjoying the peace of the cemetery that will be peaceful now that I will shut the fuck up. Ready for your crabby? Good girl. One more little bite of crabby? Good girl. Very good. On today's episode of Did I Use My Remote Starter But My Air Conditioning Was On The Whole Time? Yes. Why is my life like this? It says it's 41 degrees. I don't think it's actually that warm. Good morning. Over here we have Hungry Hippo number one. Now here we have Hungry Hippo number two. They're both just hungry today. Are you hungry today? Did you want a lot of snacks? Okay. And yeah, Hungry Hippo number two. There are two of them. Mm -hmm. This one's my favorite. I love little Chucky Muffin too. Look at He's getting a little rotund. What are we gonna do, Lila Grace? Do we have to put Clarence on a diet with you? Oh dear. Oh dear. You a good girl. Hey everybody. It's Sunday morning. I'm out for my run. 15 miles today. It is bitterly cold. I don't know how to dress for running weather. We all know this. It's a thing. So I think I'm okay. I'm not sure, but I'm already cold and my legs already feel like crap. And this is how you learn to run ultra marathons. Hmm. Why do I do this again? Why? Why is this my passion? Okay, update. I just did five miles. So a third of the way through, time to go. I'm really warm now. I started out so cold. I have like a tech shirt. It's like a lightweight sweatshirt that I like to wear. It's cold for running. Because it's not like as heavy as a hoodie. But like, this part of me is very warm. My legs are feeling good. I'm not super bored yet. Still listening to this podcast that I'm really into, which I'll tell you about later. And 10 more to go. Coming up on about 10 miles almost. So two thirds of the way there about five and a quarter to go. Oh man, um, I'm in a different cemetery today. This is the Allegheny Cemetery, which is arguably the more famous of the two big cemeteries. cemeteries. But I live close to Homewood, and that's my home. So I'm here all the time. I don't know what the story is with this pumpkin, but I like it. Anyway, it's really hilly. I was averaging about the pace I thought I would be for a long run, and I'm gonna slow down now because this is like a lot of elevation, a lot of climb. As I mentioned, Allegheny Cemetery is like the more famous, but look at the size of their pyramid compared to the size of our pyramid in Homewood. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought, but it's still pretty here. The fall trees are beautiful, and I'm very out of breath because, as I said, it's basically straight uphill. Okay, I hit 15 miles. I am so tired right now. My body is feeling really beat up, but I made it. My new longest run 
said surgery. I think my body's coming back. Kind of. I think so. Now I gotta get Layla to her Christmas photo shoot. And then I can just relax and do chores. Lily's first photo shoot at Wagsburg and she's terrified. Oh, you're shaking. And then we have the opera star, the prima donna. You ready, Layla? Ready to go. I stole Danielle's dog. I'm not giving him back. Look how cute he is. Hi, baby. You look like a little bear. Yes, you do. Oh, thank you. He gave me a kiss. Where is my dog down here? Going nuts. <laughs> Layla Grace, what are you doing, huh? You being wild and crazy. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Layla. Is your sweater falling off? Come on. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Oh, dear. Come on. It's okay. Come on. If you come over here, Mommy can get it. Come on. Oh, you lost it. Oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Come on. Come on up. You can do it. Yes, good girl. Okay, Mama's going to go grab your sweater. I'll be right back. Lady Grace, are you stuck at the bottom of the steps and you've just been here crying, waiting for mommy to let you go up? Can you go up? Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Go ahead. Come on. Is it the bag of your treat that's on the step? Okay. <laughs> My goodness. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday morning. I forgot to close the vlog out last night. By the time we got home, um, we did I'm filling my water bottle. That's what I do. I fill my water bottle and I stand here and I talk. Um, we went to the cage last night. Well, last two nights so I could write. I got a lot of writing done, so that's good. Not a lot, but like more than I would think I would have after the last two days of work. Work was like so much. It was just so much. Um, but <laughs> so it is now. My little perfect store is gone. So uh, today I work two to eight at a different store. I'm off tomorrow because it's supposed to be go night, and then I work Thursday or Friday, um, nine to eight again. So I have a lot of stuff to work on today. <sighs> so that will pick up with next week's vlog. So I'm gonna get started on that. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new here. I do publish at least two videos a week, and as always. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other and I'll see you in my next video.